Let's program some metal drums. First, select the right kit. We're going to choose a default kit. Now, I'm not much of a metal head. Actually, I'm not a metal head at all. I don't listen to much metal. I don't think um, I enjoy it too much, but that doesn't mean I don't respect it. So uh, let's see if we can't uh, fool around and create something that sounds pretty convincing. Oh yeah, nobody's hitting the snare gently in metal, so use a lot of rim shots. We'll leave this nice part for later. So maybe something like... Mm -hmm. I think that'll do for now. Let's create a loop. Uh, lots of open hi-hats as well, like with the sh smacked out of them. But, yeah, let's send them a little further apart. sound too good hmm, not liking the sound of this too much I think let's replace it with something from contact let's go with the biggest kit they have which is the studio kit this thing's gotta sound massive yeah, not the studio kit, the stadium kit. Mm -hmm. The secret ingredient, maximum velocity on everything. I'm going to randomize the kick velocities a bit to make them sound a little bit more natural. Let's see if I can do it. This is actually a polyrhythm. It's got like two rhythms on top of each other and it sounds pretty trippy actually. Yeah. Again, we're going to randomize our kicks. Uh, 
And I guess it just goes on. Nice. It's quite trippy. It's, it's definitely a little trippy. Okay, let's try this. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's how it is. Hmm, I think I need this to be a little bit faster. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is it. Yeah, I, th I think that's what we want to do. We don't have like the one on the one E, one, one E. Mm -hmm. So kind of like this. Sorry, sounds like a, a full metal groove, <laughs> a full metal song. <laughs> okay, okay. That's kind of the start of it. I guess it's a lot of uh, quantized quarter note sounding stuff. Let's throw some of these around and see if we can't use any of the other elements from uh, the drum kit. Okay, we're going to mute some of these now. Oh, that's not the mute button. Hmm. We need, we're going to we're gonna need the metronome for this. Okay, and we're gonna pair this underneath and I don't know how this is gonna sound. It's probably gonna sound like, let's, let's just do it with the right bell. Oh, or the side crash or the splash or whatever it's called. Oh, that's, there's the right bell. Yeah, something like this. There we go, that's a polyrhythm right there. Let's remove the uh, metronome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, I like the sound of that. This is one polyrhythm. This is another type. Oh 
I will try one more thing. Sounds a little weird, but again, randomize those kicks all across. Yeah. Let's try some ghost notes, see if they don't help. I can't put them here. Hmm. So I tried a few different things. I like the sound of that. I think I think I'm gonna put a bow in it. They wanna keep this they wanna make this too complicated. Let's try adding something. Um let's use the ample base. Tune this down to drop D. Let's make it distortion-y. Oh, let's try saturation off first and see if we can do something. Okay, and now we put the... Uh, we gotta do this in parallel. Send this here. And here we put the UAD uh, Marshall Plexi Classic in mono. I can't seem to nail my guitar tones because I'm using plugins. I have a real guitar, but it's packed somewhere, so. Dead 
damn, it's hard. All right, if you like this video, you know what to do, do the thing. If you didn't like it, do the other thing. If you want to open a discussion or request other videos, please sign off in the comments. Or if you want to leave your feedback, sign off in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. This is Elvig D'Souza, signing off for a while. Ciao, ciao.